Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikhira Techies. This is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. In this video, I am going to continue this block screen example. So in my last video, we have populated list of blog information. So this video onwards, we can create the new record. Okay, this is my blog screen. Here I just populated the list of blog information. Next, what I am going to do, let me provide one add button. Once it is clicked, I am going to open one pop-up. It has two input, one is for the title and another one is for the description. Once we received the input from the user, we can dispatch our add blog action. Okay, that is my plan. So let's start my implementation. First, we can focus on this ngrx part. Okay, so already we have created this action model reduces selectors and state for this blog. First, let me do some changes from our state side. So in this initial block state, I am just returning the array of data. Okay, so instead of that, let me change this into object. For that, let me create one more model class. I'm going to provide the name is blocks. Block list. And here we can use this block model object. Okay. So let me save this one. And in our block state also, I'm just changing this into blocks. And then I'm using this object. Here we have this blog list. And whatever value we already had that I am assigning to into our blog list. Okay. Next in our action side, already we have this load blog. After that, let me create one more action. The name is add blog. Okay. So this action expect the parameter. We can use this props option. So blog input and the data type is blog model. And next in our reducer side. So in this reducer, we can add one more section for the add block. So here the action is add block. It's having the state and also action. So in this default, uh, we can return our state. So let me modify this blog list. So first, whatever value available in this state, let me provide here this state dot blog list. So after that, I'm going to add our new record. Okay. So new record will be available in this action. So let me declare one more variable here. Okay, it should be input. I have to change in my action also. Yeah. So next let me include it here. That's it. So the idea is very simple. So Currently I'm having three objects in our blog list. I'm just added this array. Additionally, I have added our new blog input also. Okay. So let me save this one. Okay, this is fine. Next, let me move on the selector side. So in this selector side, previously our state is this uh, blog model array. So now we are this changed into blocks object. And in this get blog also, let me return only this blog list. Okay. I hope the functional point of it will work. Yeah, it is loading the data. So next, let me focus on the designing part. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use the pop-up. So let me inject this mat dialog model in our material dot model. So then only we can use our dialog control in our application. Angular material and dialog. And our model name is mat dialog model. So 
So let me save this one. Next, let me create one component. I can provide the name is add block. Okay, great. Our component is created. Next, in our block screen, I'm going to include one button. Here, let me bind the click event. Add block, okay. So next in our TS side, I am defining this function. Parallelly, I am going to create one more function that is for opening the pop-up. So next in our constructor, let me inject this mat dialog. From this function, we can open our pop-up here we need to pass our component okay I'm going to use this add block component and additionally let me provide the width I'm going to provide 40 percentage okay so let me see the output now okay we have this button the name clicked okay it is not opened the reason is I am not called this function here okay see now the pop-up is opened so let me focus on the designing area first time including one form so inside the form I am going to use this mat card so already I have imported the mat card model just added the header add blocks okay Next time I am going to include this mat card content. Here only I am going to provide our controls. The next one is mat card actions. Here I am going to include two buttons. So let me copy it from here. So the first one is we can provide the name is save. We can remove this click action. Under the type let me provide submit for this one for closing the pop-up so we can provide the name is close close pop-up okay and instead of the button we can use the anchor tag so let me define this function in our add block component and let me include the constructor also So in this constructor, I'm going to inject this mat dialog ref. Reference, we have to mention our component, add block component. So let me save this one. And this dot dialog reference dot close. Okay. See the response now. Okay, we have the two buttons. So when I'm clicked, it is closed this color let me provide ascent next time I'm going to use this matte form field here we can use this matte label title and next time including one input control this is for title and I just added one directly also okay similarly let me copy this one I am going to add the description so here instead of this input control we can use the text area next we can use the same directive that's it next let me include two custom classes here see the design now okay so we have this title field and also our description the next thing is we have to handle this form for that I'm going to use the reactive forms so the first thing is in our app model we have to import our reactive form model so already I have imported this form model similarly I can import this reactive form model also okay so once it is done let me move on our art blocks component so in this constructor side let me inject this form builder next let me define my form 
block form equal to so in this group let me define my controls so the default value I have provided 0 for this ID so the second field is title and the final one is description okay so the default value is empty only and also we can include the validation using this validators so now our form is ready we can map to our HTML side first in our form I am going to include this form group and we can bind our ng summit event so let me define this function save blocks so in this save blocks first let me check so this dot block form valid so then only I am continuing otherwise I have to provide the alert message so once it is valid I can convert this data into block model ID let me provide zero so in this title we can get the values from our block form okay let me save this one next we have to dispatch our action so before that let me inject our store also private store and here we can use this app state model so let me check my app state model okay this should be changed into blocks okay now we are good to go so once I'm having this object and also we have injected our store so let me dispatch our action and our action name is add block okay here I'm just passing this block input okay we have to follow this format blog input equal to so let me save this one the next important thing is so in our HTML side I just included this form group for this controls we have to include this form control name okay the first one is title and the second one is description so let me save this one and similarly once the save is completed we have to close this pop-up and the next very important thing is this ID okay so currently I am passing the value is 0 uh, if you are using any API we can handle it from there so currently we are handling everything from our NGRX side so let me handle in my reducer side so if I'm going to my block reducer so here only we are handling this add block so here what I'm going to do so here this block dot ID equal to so currently I'm having this state okay from this state I can access this block list length plus one so we almost done our changes let me verify from the screen so currently no error when I'm clicking this button I am able to see this pop-up once clicked I am getting this validation message okay so let me provide the title is angular js so description this is the initial version so let me save this one see so the pop-up is closed also the newly added record is added here okay so similarly so title MVC 
coding pattern. So once I'm clicked, see the new block is created. So automatically it is reflected on our black screen also. Okay. Okay, our add block functionality is completed, and the next two videos also I'm going to continue the same examples only. So there we can complete the update action and also the delete action. Okay. So before closing this video, let me provide the overview what actually we have done. So first we have this initial state. So initial state storing the list of block information. Okay. Using this select is we fetch the list of block list and then we are binded in our UA. And the next using this add block button, we just opened one pop up and we have two input one is the title and another one is the description using reactive forms uh, we got our data so then we are converting this data into this uh, blog model object so that actually we are doing from our component side okay we just uh, converted into this blog model object finally we are dispatching this add blog action okay so in this action point of view we just created one action with the name of add block. It's having only one property that is our parameter. This block object model is the input. Next to from our reducer side through this action we are getting this block input. Finally I am adding this into our state. So since we are subscribed to this state if there is any change happened in this state obviously it should be reflected. So that's why once I am created the record automatically reflected in our screen. Okay. So now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.